Have you been wondering about some ways to inject cash into your business quickly? Welcome to Tools to Create a Better Life with myself, Glenny Hughes. Thank you so much for being here. I am so incredibly grateful for you. Yeah, this show is all about different ways to do some cash injections into your business as if by magic. It's a mix of some practical ways to do it, some mindset shifts, and also some tips. Now, the first tip that I have for you is to really look at if this is the way that often shows up in your business where you are requiring a cash injection time and time and time again, you might want to look bigger picture. You might want to look at uh, maybe three months ahead, maybe even go six months ahead where you're not doing things last minute. Because often when we require a cash injection, it's because we've not done something earlier on. You know how when we're creating something, like what we're creating today is, is ultimately creating our future. So it might be the to actually do some planning in the business really look at those things like even if you have a business where you pay yourself every second Friday let's say you want to be looking at okay so in order to have the funds to pay you every second Friday what is required and where you maybe have staff that you pay every I don't know um, second Thursday so looking at that and really planning it out rather than going last minute, oh my goodness, I require money, this is horrible, and kind of jumping into that uh, drama usually is what what's the energy there. Uh, so keep that in mind, but also there are some practical tips for this. One of them, if you are just looking for a cash injection, let's say you got a, a big tax bill or something and you require uh, some cash, cash right now, you could look at, depending on the type of business that you run, but you could look at uh, offering a new product or a new service. So that's something that is new, that is exciting, that uh, you know that your audience is asking for and really inspires them to maybe move quickly with it. When we were in England last year, so October of 2022, celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary, uh, we had, I was running classes and stuff while I was doing their business was going as, as usual. Uh, but as I got closer to the end of the month, part of this was like, oh shoot. Uh, yeah, I require more money for the business and what, what, what can I, what can I create? And I have other ways in the past that I have done that. And what really popped for me this time, it was really interesting was a brand new creation. It was a, a coaching program, a five-week coaching program. And at the time I thought, wow, this is, I'm not sure this will be kind of what I'm looking for, uh, but it was really yummy and expansive to do it. So I put it together quickly and, and put it out there and, and it went, I think we ended up having like 30 people. Well, I opened 30 spots. Initially I'd opened 20 and then just, it was just so amazing and so much fun. I opened up another 10 a couple of weeks later and so it really went in a different direction than what I had thought it would. Back then I was doing more, more, I would do a sale to, to have a cash injection every, maybe once a month or something like that. Now I do sales differently. It's actually more of a strategy in my business, but um, that's not for today's show. We'll maybe talk about that in another show, but right now in terms of a practical way to inject money into your business could you be creating a new product or a new service that really invites your audience to something fresh and, and light and exciting that is, you know, it, it's in line with what your audience is asking for, but something that a little bit new. The other thing that I did with the coaching thing, and I, I actually chose it this way because I was truly curious, uh, is I ran it as a beta program, meaning it was kind of like, here, here's the bare bones, not totally sure how it's going to work out. And, um, and so ran it that way. So that could also be an op option for you. If you're, if you're going to run a new service or something, uh, you could launch it as a beta so that you have a little bit of room to work things out. So in my, in my experience with that five week program, after a few people went through it, I realized that I think it was like week three and four needed to be changed up or something like that. And so I felt more 
confident doing that because it was in beta uh, and everybody who had joined knew it was in beta, knew that there might be things shift and change as we go through. Uh, not to say you couldn't do that if you didn't run a beta program. It just gives you a little bit more space if you do. And I would like to invite you to my final Business Done Different class. You can join us online or in Davidson, Saskatchewan. Yes, June 9th, 10th, and 11th. Again, it will be my final facilitation of Business Done Different. I will not be renewing my Joy of Business Certified Facilitator, which means I will not be facilitating the class anymore. It's an amazing class, guys, with an amazing manual. So please, if you have been waiting to take it with me, now is the time. If you have any questions about it, just reach out. So from a mindset perspective, one of the things that you might want to look at instead of kind of being in the energy of like, oh my gosh, how can I create money? How, how can I, you know, inject cash into the business right now? Oh no, how can I pay this bill? Is really like, how can I provide exceptional value to my audience? and get paid for it. So I don't mean you're you're asking that question in terms of like, what could I put out for free? That's not the question in this case. It truly is though, instead of the energy of like, how can I get the money? It's it's really, how can I provide my audience with, with what they're asking for in a way that totally blows their mind? I mean, that, that to me has such a, a funner, yummier energy than how can I get this money? How can I inject this cash? How can I pay my bill? Even when we're putting things out there, everybody that interacts with us, whether they're on our email list or they're uh, consuming our content on social media, they are aware, every one of them, whether they know it or not, they are aware. So what that means is if you've got that energy of, okay, I'm putting this out there so I can have the money because I need the money. And if I don't have the money, there's a problem. Every person can perceive that. Everybody gets that energy, whether we know it or not, whether we have words for it or not. So really taking a moment when you're in that situation and not making yourself wrong, not going into judgment that you're in a situation that you require the cash injection, but really looking at it from a different angle, which is how can I provide exceptional value to my audience right now? Because I know chances are if you are watching this area, if you are here right now, you actually desire that. Yes, of course, the money is wonderful and the cash injections are sometimes required. But ultimately, if we were to go right to the core of why you do what you do, it is because you desire to provide for your audience and the value and really create a wow in their world with them. So go back to that energy because that is going to fuel you and the creations so much more than this kind of desperation of I need the money right now. Now, a tip in this sort of a situation is, and actually, honestly, in every business situation, actually, I'm going to take it even further in every area of your life is to really embrace what is unique about you. Really get a sense of you like who you are, what you love, and, and be it and share it. It isn't about going in and fitting in. It isn't about being like the other people in your industry. It truly is about being you. And it doesn't matter what industry you're in. If you don't believe me, go to TikTok and watch some TikToks where people are selling something totally unrelated to them. There was a gal I watched, I'm not even sure how long ago, a while ago, and she was going out on a date. And so that was kind of what hooked you is that she's she's talking about going on this date and, and she was really vulnerable with she hadn't been on a date in a long time and had been through a rough breakup. So she wasn't sure if she was willing to and ready to. And she, you know, so you're really kind of invested within probably 15 seconds. You're really invested like, man, I hope she does it. I hope it's amazing. And you're like, she just is a great storyteller and she's getting ready to go on this date. So she's physically getting ready while she's doing this video. The video was for the hair straightener that she was using while she was talking about going on the date. That is brilliant. 
So she was still being her. She was still sharing a part of her life. She was still showing us, you know, kind of opening the curtain a little bit and showing us a little bit of her life and behind the scenes. And, and we were all really invested that she had a great time. And everybody was probably waiting, you know, for her second video because she was going to follow up with how the date went later. And, and she was selling the curling iron or the hair straightener or whatever it was. What? Now, I, I cannot tell you, I do not know the facts, but I would bet anybody who was the remotely interested in that product would have purchased from her. She, she wasn't selling and she was totally selling and she showed up as her. So when I talk about like being you, being your unique, your uniqueness, that's it. It's where you show up as you. And you don't show up and hold this, you know, hair straightener in front of the video and say, this is a great hair straightener. This will straighten your hair every time. This straightens your hair without making it fuzzy and hope it sells. Because nowadays, now there was a time that actually would have sold. <laughs> I'm old enough to know. Uh, and there's, it doesn't, it just doesn't anymore. Now we almost need to be romanced. We need to be uh, dated maybe in a sense with the person and what they're selling, but they're, that, that connection uh, with the person is such a huge part of it. And the only way you're going to get that is if you start being you, you start being your uniqueness in whatever way you're sharing content, you need to show up as you. Now, another practical idea with a cash injection is uh, I kind of spoke about it earlier, but like a sale where you put on a sale of something that you have uh, or a variety of things that you have, or a lot of people do not like the idea of sales. So they could do where you add a bonus. So let's say, let's say you have an, uh, a course that you sell and you normally sell it for a thousand dollars. So you could put it on sale. You could discount it whatever, $100, $200, $10, it doesn't matter, you could do that. Uh, but if that doesn't work for you, you could actually add something to it and say, if you purchase this course by Monday, you will get a 15 minute session with me. You will get uh, this other course added in for no extra charge, something like that. But that can create a big cash injection. And I wanna speak to sales for a moment because there's so many different ideas on the planet about sales. And what I can tell you, this is just my own point of view about it, is that you have to do what works for you. You can't listen to everyone else because everyone else has a different idea about sales. For me right now, sales are a part of my monthly strategy. I have a sale that runs every Tuesday uh, morning to, at 6 a.m. my time to Thursday morning at 6 a.m. my time for 48 hours every week, something or a variety of things are going on sale. This is a strategy that I am using and I have never had a problem with putting things on sale. So I'm not saying I'm right. <laughs> okay, I really want you to look at this for yourself. What works for you? If discounting or sales don't, then find something else. So in this way, add a bonus. And I know at least my audience, I cannot speak for your audience, but my audience loves when I add on time with me. You can add on a 10 minute session, a 15 minute session, an hour session, uh, whatever you want to do. That's totally up to you. But it's another way to create some, some you know, an injection of cash for something uh, rather than putting it on sale if that doesn't work for you. And another tip is really to get out of your comfort zone with all of this. You know, a lot of times when we require a cash injection, when we're in that place in our business, the first thing we do is we go to such wrongness of us. We go to how bad we are, how horrible we are. We made that mistake or, you know, we set ourselves up for, for this problem because we did, you know, we put our taxes off or something. What if we stop that and we just recognize, hey, I require some cash. And let's even word it differently. The business requires some cash. So what, what's required? What, what steps can I take? What action can I take? And be willing to do whatever it is and then change it if that doesn't work. If it's not selling, if something isn't working, 
try it again. Be willing to what we might call, and it isn't, but we might call it fail. Just be totally willing to fail. And I know you probably have heard that a million times and it's kind of like, whatever, <laughs> shut up, Glenice. Uh, But what if you're willing? What if you're willing just to try it, just to see? When you are in business, you have to be willing to fail or you will never succeed. You have to be willing to be in the position where you require cash injections, you know, maybe even in the next hour. Okay, cool. So what's required? What's required? And there's so many different things that can be done. I mean, I'm just kind of touching on different things as, as we go along, but there's a lot of different ways. And it also depends on your business. So maybe you run a coaching business where you are already full, uh, your, your time is already spent, you cannot see any more clients, but you still require more cash. Maybe something else came up above and beyond what you bring in. Okay, so what could you do? Could you create a digital product with, with something that you could sell? Is there another way? And instead of getting into this is wrong and bad and I'm wrong and I'm bad, it's like, okay, so what else? What else? And I do, as if you've been around for a while, I do this really weird thing where I actually chat with my business. Hey, business, can you assist here? Can you show me what's required? Can you show me what you would like me to create? And that was really the energy behind the whole beta coaching uh, last October, November, is I, I was curious, I was truly curious as to what was required and, and came up with this, you know, and I... I didn't come up with it. The business gifted me this idea. Uh, and then I took the action. It did take me putting it in to words and sending it out to my email list. And in that case, I did something even a little bit different than, than I do a lot of times. But I sent it out like, hey, guys, if I created this, would you be interested? So I didn't even put much together because I thought if nobody's interested, I don't want to put a whole bunch of time into it and creation into it but I had a lot of interest. So I was like, okay. Then I created the, the payment link and uh, got Erica to do the, the graphics and all of that. And away we went. Now you don't have to do it like that. It's just how I happen to do it. Now, if that is of interest to you, I actually have a product called how to get paid to create your digital product. Uh, Cause there is a strategy to it where you basically you ask uh, if people are interested and if they are, you put together just a basic link. You usually put it at a very discounted price or discounted or less price. Uh, and and yeah, there's there's different steps to it. So we'll put the link above or below. If you don't see it, reach out. I will get it for you. But it is called how to create, how to get paid to create a digital product, meaning you get paid before you create it. How's it getting any better than that? So there are just some ideas, some tips, some mindset shifts. Uh, practical ways to get some cash into the business right now. Remembering my first, very first tip might be planning is required. And I know for so many of us, we don't like to plan. We want to create, create, create. Uh, and if you could find a way to start planning, I wonder how much that might contribute. Have a great week, sweet friends. And I look forward to chatting again next week.